A few months ago when I came on here and informed all of you that henceforth I would be planning exclusively in a digital planner, I got a few comments mostly in my DMs on other platforms saying, come on Kristen, we've been watching this channel forever and um, we don't believe you. We're happy you found something to work with right now, but let's be honest, you're going back to paper. Well, joke's on you, haters. Uh, you were half right. Hello, shameless writers. I'm Kristen McTiernan, the nonsense-free but illness-afflicted editor, here for your somewhat regular dose of writing and planning wisdom. True story for my New Year's resolution, I was actually going to upload three whole videos this week. This one was supposed to be the first, kicking off the Monday of the new year, and then I was going to do two more. But then, just like everyone wants to have happen on New Year's Day, I got sick. Not from that sickness, but, you know, just plain old regular cold. Still, extremely annoying, and I haven't had one in like three years because, you know, we've, we haven't left the house. And I got to tell you, um... <coughs> I did not miss this at all, and um, I'm hoping it goes away soon. But such is my love for you and for planning that I am here to show you my dual planning system for this year, wherein I combine digital planning for work and paper planning for everything else. Now, I do wanna specify that when I say for work, I have a day job. I work for the government. I have one of those dreaded government bureaucrats and I also <laughs> have my side hustle of being an editor slash ghostwriter slash writer's coach. Now, prior to everybody suddenly working from home, I always had two planners. I had a work planner and then I also had a writing slash home life planner. And that always worked well for me because they were in two different locations. I didn't need a catch-all. But then I got a virtual job and this is before the bug. And I found that there was just no, the barriers were gone, basically. There were no barriers between my day job life and my editing life and my writing life. And so I switched to one planner. Well, I've been doing that for a couple of years. That's not really working for me anymore. But thank goodness I have my handy dandy device to make sure that I'm able to plan the way that I want to plan for every sphere of my life. So I'm gonna flip the camera around in just a second and show you, but just as a little precursor for my work, I am going to be using a digital planner that I designed, um, and the device that I'm using is the Onyx Books Note Air. This is an e-ink device. Um, digital planning can, of course, be done on any electronic device. You can do it on your laptop. You can do it on your tablet. Um, some of the most beautiful stuff um, available for, di for digital planning is admittedly only available on the iPad, but there are some really great options for Android and Windows devices as well. Um, I do have a video running down how you can digital plan on a variety of devices. So, that one. And I also have an entire playlist on plan with me's and how I've planned over the years. So if you're not sure if you're into digital planning or if you're into paper planning or if you think you want to do a mix of both like I do, I do have a whole a uh, playlist for your viewing pleasure where you can see what I do with stickers or what I do with my minimalism planning or what I do with digital planning. And then for my home life and my editing life and my writing, I am using, I guess it could reasonably be called a Franken planner. It is a full size disc bound system. Um, there's a lot of guts in here. Uh, some of it is HP 90, some of it is happy planner, some of it is just filler paper. And the cover is Jane's Agenda and she is wonderful. Go check out her shop. So how am I using these planners? Let's flip it around and find out. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be looking at is the planner that I am using for my freelance business and my personal life. Um, as you can see, obviously it is a paper planner. Um, it is partly a happy planner, it is partly the HB90, um, and is partly just kind of notes pages. I have found that I am a very big proponent of the disk system, and I am a huge proponent of undated 
filler sheets. Um, and by proponent, I mean, I just, I can't have dated sheets, you guys. I don't have the commitment to stay with a system all year long. I have accepted this about myself. So what I have done is this is a cover from Jane's Agenda, who is the business. Um, if you haven't checked out her shop, you should. Um, this is kind of a cover, I guess, that I have created on Canva. Um, and that's just cardstock that I created. Um, this is sort of kind of a combo between the inbox system. You might've seen this on cloth and paper. Um, and then it's also kind of a replacement for the HB 90s three goals per quarter kind of thing. Now my <laughs> quarter started in November and it's going to end um, at the end of January. So it's not exactly, you know, first quarter 2022. It's kind of my own three month section that I'm doing goals for. Um, and so the goals that I had um, for myself are complete wills uh, for myself and my husband, which we did while he was here for Christmas. Um, complete a debt payoff plan. I've mentioned that <laughs> I did my business taxes wrong for three years um, because I thought I could do it by myself and I'm dumb. Um, so I owe back taxes for my corporation. So that's good times. Um, so I need to work with the IRS to make sure that I'm on a payment plan and I'm in compliance and all that stuff. And I've been putting it off because the IRS is terrible. Um, but that's on the docket and I need to finish it by January 31st. And then I need to complete four chapters of Union of Souls. So I'm doing okay with that. I've got three chapters done, which is a minor miracle, but um, I need to try and finish that last one by January 31st. Um, this came with the HB90 planner. I don't actually use it, but I figured, you know, keep it in here, why not? These dividers I got from Staples, I think, or Office Depot. Uh, they are the Tool brand, and they were just so pretty um, that I had to do it. So my main event, if you will, um, is the HB90 system. Um, so I already took out November, and part of the reason that I like um, undated is because as soon as a month is over or I don't think I need anything anymore, I'm going to toss it. Um, so November was in here. I have tossed that now. Um, so December is still here. I use the HB90 system as it's intended with your, you know, three goals for the quarter and then any tasks underneath it. Um, and then your work in progress over here. And I'm also using, <laughs> um, I found that a good way to get over the whole sticker hoarding, hoarding thing, which is kind of the reason I went entirely electronic. I use one book at a time and that has worked wonders. I don't feel like I'm accumulating things and I just go through one sticker book at a time until it's done. Um, that has done wonders. I enjoy using stickers again and I don't feel bad about buying new ones because I know that within a couple of months, <coughs> at least one of the sticker books that I have is going to be gone. So I actually enjoy that. So as you can see, this is just your classic vertical. I really enjoy the way this is. Um, I don't have any kind of fanciness, I guess. I just use a lot of stickers in whatever way that makes me happy that week. Now I will note it, I will have you note, because I'm not using this for work, I will not do hourly. I won't do like, oh, well, here's my notes that I need for work. What I do do is I say if I have a meeting and that's so no matter what planner is open in front of me, I know if I have an appointment, but all of my work notes, all of my work tasks, anything like that, that's going to be in my um, digital planner, which you're going to see in a minute. <clears throat> the next section are the daily pages that they also just came out with the happy planner. Um, they had these in classic size last year and they were this hideous peach color. Oh, they were just awful. And so when I saw that they had the big size in gray, as it should be, I was very excited. Um, and instead of getting more dividers, I just got these tabs from an Etsy shop. And that really works well for me. I'm not flipping back and forth um, terribly from this amount. And so, you know, I, I don't need something super sturdy. So just having it on top of the page works better for me. Then this section is 
um, a collection of notes from the Mason Timeline Trilogy. That is the series that I'm working on now. And so these are a collection of notes that I have written um, over years, um, not just for the book I'm working on now, but for the previous book as well. Um, and so this helps me have an easy reference as I'm going through. And if I have a question about something and I, I'm certain that I've looked it up before, I can go back and look. Then I have a custom back cover as well that I also created on Canva. And what I think I'm going to do is just, you know, for each quarter or each three month block, I'm going to keep this, the outside cover, and then just have new sub covers. So it feels fresh, you know, maybe change out the discs if appropriate. And it keeps it fresh. I get my creative outlet with the stickers and I make everything beautiful. Um, but I don't feel like I'm trying to balance work and my other business um, in the same planner because that's just that's just too much. Okay, now the star of the hour. Let me zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Okay, so this is my digital planner. I can use it on any device. Um, I have chosen the Onyx Books Note Air. Um, and the reason that I have, hold on, let me do this, is a very simple reason. I like the way that the pen feels on it. It feels like paper, it's got that satisfying scratching thing. I feel like I'm writing on it, which I prefer. Now, I also, just to show you what it looks like, this is my, let me try not to have a glare, this is what it looks like on my laptop. Um, so as you can see, it just looks a lot more regular. Um, and so it, it doesn't have that, that tint to it, but it's got a glare on it. And when I write on the screen, um, you know, it's just got that glassy feel. So even though it works really great, writing is not for me um, on my laptop, which is a shame because it would be nice just to have all in one device, but I won't use it. And also um, the Surface Studio laptop is, uh, you guys, it's really heavy. Um, it is not really portable, whereas this is. Um, we haven't found out officially that we're not going back to the office, but it's very, very likely that I'm going to be working from home full time. But even with that, I've found that my brain just works better if I have a separate work um, laptop. And in the case of the Note Air, it just works so much better, you guys, because not only can I have my planner, I can also have notes there as well. Um, so this is my planner that I designed and it is available on my website, link below, of course. Um, and it's very simple. This is the way that I plan. Um, it's not super frilly. There are much better digital planners out there, particularly if you're a decorative planner. But for my purposes, in terms of what I need, I am not. So if we're going here, this is my weekly output and this was last week. So if we just swipe, I don't use the weekly a lot for my work planner. So basically just as in the paper planner, I want to make sure that I'm able to see. So even though I don't track my editing here, I still keep myself apprised of what's going on and the fact that I have a, um, a coaching consult on Sunday. Um, and basically all I do is track the things that I have to do every day. So I'm going to start exercising at eight o'clock in the morning because I know I'm not going to be one of those 5 a.m. people. And if I try to do it at lunch, I'm not going to do it because I'm like, oh, I could be eating right now. Why am I on the Peloton? But at eight o'clock, I never have any meetings at eight o'clock. And that's just the time that we're doing it. Um, and then also um, I'm reminding myself to put my, I get a water delivery service. I need to put the jugs out on the porch and I'm meeting my wonderful writer friend, Rachel. Um, and we're going to be getting back into writing and brainstorming. So I'm really excited about that. And that's just what we're doing for the week. Now, the meat of what I do is with the daily. So with the daily, I have my hourly breakdown, which is the bread and butter of my workday. But then also I have my notes and I kind of laid this out similar, but not identical to the passion planner. <coughs> and this really speaks to me because I have my hourly, which I need to see, and it's nice and big. And then I also have my notes, which is great. Um, as you can see, there's not a lot here right now, but by the end of Monday, as you can see, I have, you know, two meetings with the leadership in my department. So during those meetings, 
I'm going to be able to write my to-dos. I'm going to be able to write um, any reminders I have for myself that I need to pass on to my team. Um, and so it's just good to have this blank space um, that is always there for me. And you're just able to go um, from day to day. I think I was doodling over here so I can just write. Ah, there we go. I will say that when you're in landscape, the palm rejection is not as on point as when it's in um, portrait. I'm not sure why exactly that is, but by and large, I have, you know, very, very few complaints. Um, but this is what I do during the workday. And the daily is really where I'm at. I don't need to go to the weekly very often, but when I do, I have the button right here and I can go back to the weekly at any time. And all of this is hyperlinked. Um, now, the, you might have noticed um, the tabs are slightly different um, on this version versus on the laptop version. And I like the laptop version tabs better. I designed them like that. But, and I don't know why, <sighs> something about the book's PDF reader created all these like random lines in, in the original tabs. And so I had to just basically create uh, static images instead of um, shapes. So that was fun. Assuming that, you know, for some reason, if um, I don't have enough note space here, that's fine. Um, I can just go back to the home page. Let me get back on landscape. Um, and at any time, I can just go into my notes and then just create more notes. I can create a dedicated notes page for whatever I need to write. And so the note air is really where it's at for me, at least for my planning for my work. So that is my two-pronged planning system for this year. Um, we're only a few days into the new year where I'm able to use my planner. And I gotta tell you, it's going really well. Um, even my illness notwithstanding, I have been drawn into some very complicated meetings already. And just having my digital planner there and being able to quickly flip to the notes that I've taken on that device previously has been a lifesaver. And I am never caught holding the bag in one of those meetings where I'm like, um, let me circle back to you on that. Ugh, don't we all just hate it when you have to say that? But I did not have to this week. It was fabulous. And uh, someone had to eat a little bit of humble pie because I had my notes right there on my books. So I'm not saying that the note air literally saved my reputation and my career, but you know, close. So that's all that I have for this week. If you have any questions about how I personally use my digital planner, or if you think it might be right for you, there are links down below, or of course you can drop a comment down below and we can talk about planner stuff because that makes me happy and probably makes you happy too. Likewise, give me a like and subscribe if you just love planner and productivity stuff in general. And as stated earlier, it is my goal to post more than once a week this year once I stop being a viral, what, what, what did she call it? Once I stop being an incubus of viral plague. Devil Wears Prada. Not a great movie. I don't know why everyone loved it so much, but that line, <laughs> that line was so great. So until next time, take care and write well. Gemma, it's okay. <laughs> Poor baby.